After three episodes of yap, 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 I fear that a lot of people don't really care about Mahoko. Actually, a lot of them got kind of filtered out as soon as season two happened because it's not really the season one hype that they expected. Anime Jesus Christ, Onisama has done nothing yet. But I hear today's episode is super peak. So, hey, let's see what's going to happen in today's episode. The fuck? Can that- oh, oh, oh! Demon right! Demon right! Who is this? Yo, did he get a new suit? Because I remember the season one suits. The military suits. I don't remember the helmet looking like this. Kidnapping the daughter of the head of a TV station is pretty aggressive. So this is the daughter of a head... Daughter of a head of a TV station. Okay, interesting political kidnapping is going on. Demon rights. He could... Big objects like... Oh, sh I thought we say material burst for the big boys, but like... I thought demon right kind of only worked on like... Small people. But okay. Yeah, the airship and all, literally. Wait, 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 wait. I've eliminated them airship and also please delete the magic usage log later. As in, this is to hide our trace from the public? Or the fact that he wasn't even supposed to do that into military control, so we're trying to hide it from the military. Never mind. Yep, it's the same kid you've been battling for fucking three seasons. Mahes. Okay, so they had like a separate name for him, right? So this is based on some kind of like Buddhist god? Or was it an Indian god? I forget, but the whole thing of like divine left and um, death right. Fuck, what is. No, no, it's divine right. It's divine right, right? But what the fuck did I say? The left is for uh, reconstruction, right? And then the right is for just like killing. So in both hands, he has like the power to like create and destroy. Demon right and divine left or something? President of Rosin Magicraft Japan brand. Ernst Rosin seems like an important person. Very pro magician, obviously, yeah? Oh! Saigusa. Wanna fight? These two fucking hate each other. Did she specifically do that? I don't think so. I think she pulls like jumping to conclusions. She didn't. Bro is so delusional that he's giving Onisama's credit to her right now? We need to correct him, man. This kid, someone needs to bully this kid. Yo! Did you take after your big sister and seduce him to do it? <laughs> I mean, listen, Mayumi, every time with the Onisama, she does try. Like, is he wrong? I don't think she, I don't, I don't think, it's just Izumi or Kazumi, she doesn't like Onisama at all, but Mayumi kind of like tries really hard to like seduce Onisama. Bro, that didn't go, wait, wait, wait. In terms of looks only, you sisters are first rate. Is this Riz? I, I'm confused, right? Are you flirting with me? I, I, I think this is a ship. In the beginning, they start off like, you know, very uh, against each other. But I just feel like after they resolve this arc, these two might start dating, man. Really? I, Mayumi? Uh, no, you're picking a fight with her, dude. What are you talking about? You straight up are so aggro. Okay, here we go. Another fight? This time, no one stopped them. No! Shizuku, Shizuku, Shizuku. Mo this motherfucker! No, she po fuck him up! She po fuck him up! Morisaki finally shows his fucking rat face after being MIA since season one. The fucking tournament art. The fucking terrorist, right? Dub terrorist. We love the no head dragon or whatever. The terrorist, you know, the fucking rock fell down and basically he was put in the hospital. Since season, rest of the season gone. Season two gone. Now he fucking shows up. 
L, L, I hope she pull fucks him up. No! No, this can't be Morisaki. This is Shizuku. I'm dropping this fucking show right now. How is he getting a dub? I hate him! He sucks! And he's fucking cool right now! Intermediate technique, casting spells, not drawing a CAD. God fucking damn it, are we getting a redemption from Morisaki? Kirihara and Hanzo already got their redemptions. Now are you gonna fucking get Morisaki too? <laughs> Hello, Shizuku. Let him fight it out. <笑>ちょっと聞いています。最悪退学もあるでしょう。それに比べれば。<笑><笑> Wait, Morisaki gets a look there. And is he realizing what he did in first? I think this is like, you know, season one shit. And he's realizing, shit, I did do that. But he's grown up. <sighs> Morisaki redemption arc. To the death. Both, both twins, huh? Because they're full power. He's got some kind of honor there, at least, you know? Let's do it. I want to see the twins in battle. If Shippo wins this, it'll be crazy. Bro has a book. Is that a Bible? The fuck is a book for? No contact. Okay. Long range magic to control weapon. <laughs> he got some Winnie Hut Jr. fucking rules. Alright, let oh, oh, the book's down? What does the book do? It's some Zats Bell shit, dude. Gravity? I can't tell. I don't think so. It's just barrier and long range magic. Oh, it's it already over? The berry went down. He shot the ground and it worked. Shippo looks like he's winning, actually. No, no, the twins are back up. Twin attack incoming. Busto, shoot. So one augments the other? Nitrogen store. What the fuck? You got some chemical warfare. Belt to neutralize one's opponent by inducing a lack of oxygen. Nice. So they can't breathe. In their first years. Bakuna. Multiplicative cast. It's just buff and shoot. I don't know. Okay, he closed it. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The book's purpose is to turn into paper weapons? I thought he'd be reading off the book. So the book just shoots out a shitload of paper and he just do paper magic. Million pieces of paper. The animation looks pretty cool, yeah? Who's winning? Is it a tie? No! Nisama, how could you? Who wins, though? Man, another inconclusive fight. Talk your shit, Izumi. Or Kazumi. Oh, we're correcting the little sisters. Did he? That you would have won. Yes, he 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 would have won. 
Pretty much? Yo, Onisama says coaching them. No, no, you weren't. Nope. Only because you couldn't control it. Oh, exactly. It's not about million edge. It's the control. Actual skill issue. We, we oh the slurs are back the racial not the racial the the fucking is classes the slurs we haven't heard a weed in a long time man holy shit it's back onisama demon write him oh miyuki might want to kill that oh <laughs> Is it Morisaki? Okay, oh, thank God. Oh, fucking thank God. If that was Morisaki, I would have been like, shit. He's too cool right now. Thank fucking God. Okay, okay. This is the other guy that we were talking to. Yes, he's, he's relatively new this season, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank fucking God, dude. Could you imagine if this is Morisaki? Like, oh, oh, that would have been fucking disgusting. I would have had to accept him as a character. Yep. True. Show some respect. What? Oh, what? That's yours truly. The failure of the Tomitsuka family. Rain Zero. There, and, and his thing is like, it's everything grounded in melee attacks, right? His um shortcoming is that if he's in melee range, everything is fine. But if it's not, then it's over. Rain Zero pretty much kind of says that. Like, he has no range. But if it is in the range, he should be undefeated, right? Yo, immediately! It can be used. Oh, it's like everything goes today. Okay, okay. Like, this is actually Zat's bell shit. <laughs> Bro's like funny <laughs> with the fucking magical book. He needs the paper. <laughs> Defense? Gram Demolition. Onisama used this. When was this? Gram Demolition sounds familiar. This is looking like some kind of like armor around him. I forget. Spell Dismantle? So if he like touches the book, it's over. The book can't be used anymore. He'll basically dismantle anti-magic on shit. While well, Onisama shoots bullets and then dismantles that shit. Oh, oh, yeah. I can't tell. The punch didn't land on his face. It looked a little raised there. No, these are full contact, right? Is it over? Get up! Fight back, bitch! Nah, Tomitsuka got something planned, right? How is he doing this? Ooh. Yo, the sound of that punch. It didn't even look like a strong punch, right? He didn't do huge moves since he just walked up. Mmm, pop! Ooh. Shippo has all the range. He is truly the ranged guy. But even despite that, like, it did nothing to Tomitsuka. Gram Demolition Contact Type. Shit comes at him, he can just dismantle the ranged attacks. Closes the gap with the speed, and when you're in range, it's over. <laughs> can you take another punch? Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone finally corrected him. Oh! Onisama, next. Onisama, you and me next. You saw this, come on, next. Yeah! Yeah, 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 Oh, oh, this is less about Tomitsuka, but like, this motherfucker doesn't know who Onisama is. He's a freshman. No, no, no. I want to show you off by using me as a, as a test experiment. Hattori Hanzo. I mean, y'all already fought once in season one. Yo, fucking release this limiter right now. You want him to go all out. Fucking get on the one knee and then release the fucking limiter. Let's go. Okay. Miyuki wants to flex. Miyuki is tired of his shit, bro. Only some a demon right, please. Oh my god. Yo, don't kill Tomitsuka. Shippo, you better be watching this, man. This is for you. 
Cyan armor, mana armor. I don't know if the armor still stepped there. Yeah, you just realized. Uh, where were you in season one and two? Ah, oh, you were still like in middle school. It's all right. It's all right. It's your first time seeing anime. Jesus Christ! Don't worry. Wait till you see Material Boss. <laughs> Oh, 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 so many different things. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, Tomitsuka is doing really well right now, right? Isn't this kind of crazy? No, he's doing way better than I thought he would. What? Oh my god, he actually slapped Onisama. Yo, he actually snapped. This is actually so rare. Making Miyuki say Onisama from the crowd? Wait, what? He let him? He let himself get blasted away. I can't believe he wasted Tomitsuka's self marionette. So, this was actually not an L. He did a really calculated defensive play here, almost like taking damage without taking damage. See? <laughs> this is the thing about Tatsuya Shiba, is that. Anytime, even when he looks like he's losing, people will be like, Oh, he's a Jesus Christ, the Messiah! He intentionally got hit and, and, and reduced the impact! Oh my god! Like, he cannot take an L ever! Tomitsuka needs a little more credit, man. Shiba Ani! Something changed there. Only Sama felt something. <laughs> she was still like, oh my god, I'm so outmatched. What is that? What is that? What is that? The fuck is that palm strike? I don't think we've ever seen like a palm strike from Oni Sama, huh? What was that? Shiba. At the end there, it looked like he read or downloaded, you know, Tomitsuka's shield, the Scion armor, and the shot pretty much is like, I, I got you, download it. Disperse that. Fucking palm strike? And Tomitsuka was probably going all out there. Onisama was trying not to kill him, right? Holy shit. Shippo! <laughs> Compete with them. My book? Million? What, what is this thing? Million something? Bro, he needs to fucking step it up and get a bigger book. Maybe two different books, and he can call it like the billions or some shit. I'm gonna punch a fucking tree? <laughs> Kazumi. I think this is an actual ship. Quite often, right? Quite often, a relationship between two characters. You would never expect it to happen because in the beginning they come off of they come off like enemies. They fucking hate each other. But sometimes that turns into a romantic ship. So like these two, I think there's potential. Are you gonna fix them up? Oh my god. <laughs> this should do it. Yeah, that's the okay. Saigus is plan. Yeah, Shippo has now been domesticated. It's fucking over. That should do it. Yep, easy. Oh my god, she cares about me? Onisama is pretty cool, yeah. Because <laughs> they're the main character that's been established from two seasons ago, and you're the first year that's showing up without any awareness of what the established characters are. I'm sorry, you're not him. Onisama is him. You're a side supporting character that needs to show up because we ran out of people that looks down on Onisama for the power fantasy to happen. Only someone's been like a special military personnel since so young. You know what she's saying isn't wrong, but it definitely doesn't fucking help explain. They worked hard. I guess so. They worked harder. We can work hard together. The world is pretty big. There's always someone out there working harder than you, yeah. Hmm. Work ethic. Wait! Wait, the acknowledgement!
Wait! The acknowledgement she puts like with a dude, it's happening! It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It needs crying. Wow. Yeah, what you interested in? <laughs> she secured it. Post credit scene. Let's go. What is the post credit scene? I swear to fucking god, dude. This fucking this bitch invited us over so long ago in season one ending, and like we're still we just arrived here at the mansion in season three. And it's like a flashback thing still. And it has been happening since episode one. Like every episode, it's either in the intro or the post credit scene. And this fucking tea party will last the entire season. Is he still here or did he leave? Meteor line. Probably the mental stuff that she was doing last episode and Onisama just countered it. Nah, you would lose? Oh shit, o okay, o okay. Y'all see this right here? Look at that attention to detail. Does anybody know what I am talking about in this frame? Because this is a very cultured veteran way of doing fan service. All the normie sees is just the teacup, right? The tea, but the people that's a little bit, you know, veteran sees the lipstick mark here, <laughs> and that is cultured fan service. <laughs> No, I think that Miyuki would turn hostile against the Yotsubas if they were doing something bad to Onisama. I don't think Miyuki gives a shit about the Yotsubas. It's only Onisama. And if you do something to him, she'll turn her back. Other candidates. Alright, Miyuki is gonna be the next Yotsuba MILF? Strategy to make Miyuki accept the ascendancy to the Yotsuba throne. And that is the episode. Definitely the best episode of Mahoka Season 3 so far. And honestly, even in season two, no, there was some hype shit in season two, but like so far, I, I was a little bit let down towards all the yapping and setup. And yes, it needs to happen, but it's like, you know, we're like three episodes deep in. Can we have something? Oh, yeah, we had fucking everything this episode from the duel against, you know, Kazumi Izumi against Shippo into a duel into Tomitsuka against, you know, Shippo into a duel into Tomitsuka against only some. This episode was fucking cracked. And we already see the cliche of, you know, haters to lovers. Shippo and, you know, Kazumi right here. It's so nice. You know, she like acknowledges him. You worked hard. You got talent. But even despite that, I think you're kind of cool. And he started crying. Yo, it's a fucking rap. It is a fucking rap. And that's pretty much it. I wonder if this is the end of the double seven arc. Is it? I guess it kind of makes sense because the double seven implies that, you know, the first double seven is, you know, obviously the Saigusa, and then the second part of the double seven is Shippo, right? Shippo and Saigusa, you know, resolve. So four episodes and we're done. And I guess we head into the next arc, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.